Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I'm so sorry, someone disturbed my live video. They just walked in the office. <laughs> so sorry. So now, I want to articulate issues of governance and uh, some of the, the scores that President Akaini Chilema is making. And I've seen uh, people making rounds on social media talking about the President's trip to Angola tomorrow. And I want to address some of these issues. The president's trip to Angola is very important. Why? Because Angola is strategic. Zambia is a land-linked country. And Angola is, is one of our neighbors. So the president needs to strengthen bilaterals between Zambia and Angola. Angola is the source of fuel so the president visiting angola is not going to play if the president was going to be playing he would have gone for a week we would have seen but up to date president akainde Ishilema, we've seen him travel out of the country we've never seen that oh he went to chill he went to play no president akainde Ishilema, is very strategic when he makes his visits when he travels he goes where he sees opportunities for our country so when people are just ranting and saying oh he's traveling a lot he's moving too much he's doing what that's a one day trip now let me educate you the president president Akainde Ichilema doesn't get that allowance the way he refused to get his salary to sign papers for his salary up to date president Akainde Ishlema is not interested in the allowances that any president is entitled to when they travel because his vision is not to get money from Zambia but to bring money to Zambia and that's why you've seen that every move he makes, he strikes a deal. So the president going to Angola is very important. Is very important and very cardinal. Because we also need to diversify our sources of energy. You can also make, you can also draw, you can also have energy from diesel. You know that? We can have energy from diesel. When we get cheaper fuel from Angola, for example, diesel goes down, petrol goes down. Let's say, for example, diesel goes down. People would be able to purchase generators, for example, and be able to run in the houses, for example. He's also looking at other sources of energy like solar energy. And this is why under the UPND manifesto, when you look at the UPND manifesto, one of the things that are going to happen is huge investments and encouraging of Zambians to invest in solar energy. Now, we have 10 provinces. The UPND vision states that 
Hundred mega watts. 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 Hundred
and we all can remember what was happening but now those same people who were used to free things handouts going with the, with regalia pf regalia in an institution minister of finance minister of what and get contracts get supplying contracts which they did not even supply the things that they were contracted to supply they supplied air they supplied nothing so now those people that did not supply anything president Akaini Ichilema and the new don government have said there is no way we are going to pay someone that did not deliver a service and now they are crying to say there is no money in circulation thank you there is fairness there is fairness there is no way you can be paid for supplying nothing and you come out crying the loudest on social media and making a kind of HLM look like he's bad. No, he's the only one who wants to be rich. I read these things on social media and I'm like, who said he's the only one who wants to be rich? The president visited Mamba Collieries. Why did he visit Mamba Collieries? Coal is one of the sources of energy. In his quest to diversify the energy sector, the president visited Manda Collieries, had meetings with them, and 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 blocked what were some of their challenges in operations. So to unblock some of those challenges, he had meetings with them. He met with Mamba Colliery's management. What are some of the challenges? And those challenges were addressed. So when Mamba Colliery's performs to its expectations and the agreements that they had with the president, the burden on Zesco will be reduced because every Zambian and everyone is depending on Zesco to supply electricity but the numbers have increased the times of Zesco when the populations were small we could survive with the levels of water at the Karibada but now you are looking at 20 million people needing electricity not only 20 million citizens but also industries companies mines and other industry other industries that depend on electricity so now you need to look at alternative sources of energy so when the president travels to Angola those are some of the issues he's going to address with his counterpart because Angola is a strategic country so we need to strengthen bilaterals with Angola So when the president is traveling, he's not just traveling for the sake of traveling. He is traveling to unlock opportunities for Zambia. The president is going to make sure that Zambia being strategically positioned as a land-linked country can benefit from its neighbors. Angola is one of our neighbors. So he's not going there because he wants to, to make allowances. No. From the time that I've, I've worked with President Akainde Ichilema,
President Dakarine Ichirema is not he is not motivated to travel because he wants allowances or a salary. And this is very commendable. Because it's on record that up to date he's not been bothered to sign whatever documents that regard his salary, his allowances. Because his vision for Zambia is bigger than the salary, is bigger than the allowances. Is bigger than what people say, no, let him move into state house. No. He's not preoccupied with just going to, to be in state house for the sake of being in state house. That's why we have seen that this is a president who has not been on campaign mode from the time he was elected. In the past, we saw it happening where a president, after winning an election, they start doing what? Campaigning. So, to my elder brother, Ambassador, former Ambassador Mamba, uh, I pray that you could be objective. Because sometimes I know when you lose power, you could be bitter, you could be upset. But sometimes let's be realistic. Because there was a time when you had that position of influence and you could have influenced those ideas that you write, brilliant articles that I saw. So my prayer is that let's sober up and be realistic. I'm only selling the vision of the president. It's my duty as one selected by the president to work with him to explain his vision to you people who may not know where we are going because there is a lot of misinformation going on on social media there is a lot of misinformation and it's very possible when there is wrong propaganda and misinformation on social media for people to believe but i want to challenge you that the information and some of the things you're seeing on social media could be misleading the kariba dam is shared between zambia and zimbabwe managed by the Zambezi Water Authority. So Zambia has no control over the Kariba Dam and say, hey, this is our own thing alone. No, 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 no. There's also Zimbabwe involved. Let's get our facts right. What if Zimbabwe is also supplying energy to other countries? And Zambia has also been exporting electricity. And this is why this, the president made the deliberate announcement that we must first manage our market before we can export electricity outside the country. Those are pronouncements in the right direction. He didn't say we are not going to supply electricity outside the country or whatever it is. No, he says, first of all, let's manage the deficit that we have in the country. Let's make sure that our people are safe. People are okay. So my dear brothers and sisters, be watchful. And don't just listen to anybody telling lies out there. I thank you and God bless you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.